Let me uh, ask you about a couple of things in your book. I want to read a quote uh, that has picked up a lot of attention. Uh, it takes us back to last October when the Republicans shut down the government in an attempt to defund Obamacare. Uh, you didn't say much at the time about the uh, Ted Cruz strategy, that is rallying Tea Party conservatives on the House side to let the government shut down. But here is what you wrote in your book. In short, the strategy our colleagues had been promoting was flawed from beginning to end. It was a suicide mission, but a lot of members were more afraid of what would happen if they didn't jump off the cliff. I guess I would ask you first, uh, why didn't you say that back then? Because I want party unity. I don't think it was constructive for conservatives to be uh, carping at each other. At the same time, the purpose of that passage is to try and unify our party. I don't think we can succeed if all we do is criticize and define what we are against. And the whole point of that was you actually can't stop an entitlement with a government shutdown. Entitlements like Medicare, Social Security, and Obamacare continue on as is. So I didn't think it was really legitimate to tell the country we could stop it unilaterally in the House, point one. Point two, the purpose of this book is to show the country that we have better ideas. We need to define ourselves as what we are in favor of just as much as what we're opposed to. And look, I don't like the track the country's on. I think we're on the wrong track. And as an elected leader, I feel I have an, a, an obligation to say what principles and policies I would put in place instead to renew the American idea and get the country going. Well, you put in your book uh, that you had ad repeatedly advised the Romney campaign before you were on the ticket uh, to lay out what the Romney presidency alternative would be when you compared it to President Obama. And, and yet you seem to feel that uh, just uh, they were just running against uh, uh, President Obama's record. Uh, do you think that's why they lost? No, I think there are a whole multitude of reasons why we didn't win, and there, there's not enough time in this hour to get into all of it. But I do believe, and I mentioned it at the time, and Mitt and I have discussed this, um, that we need to give voters a meaningful choice. Look, what I'm trying to do with this book is to help design a unified conservative Republican movement that is principled, inclusive, and aspirational so that we can win a majority of Americans' votes to save this country from what I believe is going on the wrong track. Taxpayers aren't getting the government they deserve. People who are struggling aren't getting the kind of opportunities they need and they get in a healthy economy. And America is losing its standing in the world and that makes us much less prosperous and less secure ultimately. And so we need to articulate how we would apply the nation's founding principles to the problems of the day and how that those provide, provide better solutions for the country going forward. That's the kind of an election I think people deserve. Give them a choice of two futures so that they can see and determine what kind of country they want to have so that if and when we win that kind of an election, we have the obligation, the moral authority, and the mandate to fix this country's problems before they get out of control. Our problems are real, they're urgent, but they're not insurmountable. We can turn things around and we can get this country on the right track so that our kids have a better future like our parents gave us. You uh, had a joint appearance uh, with Governor Romney the other day, and you teased him a little bit and uh, said something about uh, third time's a charm. You also suggested if he did decide to run again, you would support him. Uh, do you think there's any possibility that he might run? And of course, we want to ask you, are you going to run? Well, I sure wish he would. I think he'd make a phenomenal president. He has the intellect, the honor, the character, and the temperament to be a fantastic president. You know, I wish everybody could see the guy that I know. I think with, his, with the Mitt documentary, people got to sense that, but he keeps saying that he's not going to run. As far as myself and, and my family, um, this is a decision we're gonna take very seriously in way uh, in 2015. So I just don't know the answer to your question at this time. Would you, would you support Ted Cruz if he got the nomination or would you support Rand Paul who's staked out a kind of an isolationist <laughs> position here? Either of them, would you Look, be willing will to support, support them? I would support either of those people if they become a Republican nominee. I think there are going to be a lot of other people in this race. Um, and what I'm trying to articulate with this book is a kind of conservatism uh, inspired by my mentor, Jack Kemp, people like Ronald Reagan, that's inclusive, that's aspirational, that's principled, that also has strong national defense and a, and, a, and a foreign policy that keeps us prosperous and secure. I have differences with different people in the party, but that's okay. I want to have a big Republican party with a big tent that gives the country a better future that can win the majority of votes in this country. We need to win the Electoral College. We need, we need to win national elections so we can get this country on the right track. And whoever our nominee is going to be is going to need everybody's help. And so what I'm trying to do here 
is get us all on the same team, on the same page, and unify our movement so that we can go out and win converts to our cause. All right. Well, we uh, hope you'll come back and talk to us about it again, and we'll be back in one minute. Thank you.